Okay, <clears throat> in this video I want to go over sketching quadratic equation using completing the square method. Okay, so here you have the first equation y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 8. So how can we graph this? So the first uh, thing is you can directly look at this and say the y-intercept. Your y-intercept or the y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So that's the easiest to find in any uh, quadratic equation. Y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So if you put x is equal to 0, this is going to be 0, this is going to be 0. So you can say the y-intercept is 0, 8. Okay. Now to write the vertex form, so let's write the vertex form. So vertex form can be written by using uh, completing the square method. Okay, now to complete the square, what I'm going to do is uh, you have to half this coefficient so let me do it the side working here so first step is you have to half this coefficient of x which is negative 2 and the next step is you have to square it and that is going to be 4 so I'm going to write this like this this is y equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4 but I have got an 8 here to get back this 8, I have to write plus 4. So this is 4 plus 4 is 8. Okay, and this is x squared minus 4x plus 4. And this is a perfect square. This is a perfect square of x minus 2 the whole squared. So well, we can write y is equal to x minus 2 the whole squared plus 4. And this is the vertex form. So let me again write the vertex form. The general formula is like this. Y is equal to A times X minus XV. The whole squared plus YV. So we can say from this form, I can say XV. The X coordinate of the vertex is 2. Comparing this with this. And YV you can compare with 4. So YV is 4. So we can say that the vertex is 2 comma 4. So we are only sketching this graph. So so let's sketch this. Okay, so how can we sketch it? We have got this information. So let's draw the x and the y axis. So this is your y axis and this is your x axis. Okay, so the first point is yeah, the vertex, sorry, the y-intercept is 0, 8. So this point, let me use a different color. This is 0, 8. This is, this point is 0, 8. And the parabola would go like this. This is only a sketch. Okay, and this point is 2, 4 this point is 2 comma 4 which is your minimum and using symmetry so this is the line of symmetry you can draw the line of symmetry like this passing through the vertex so this just this is how far away so this point this is 2 away from the vertex so you have a symmetrical point 2 to the right so if you go 2 to the right from the vertex this vertex is 2 comma 4 this is vertex 2 comma 4 so this point would be 4 comma 8 and this is enough to draw the graph so this is the graph of y is equal to x squared x squared minus 4x plus 8 so let me show this on a graphic calculator so if you go to graph and type in this equation x squared minus 4x plus 8 sorry x squared minus 4x plus 8 we need to change the scale so let me make it standard scale 10 by 10 minus 10 to 10 on both the axes so this is the graph so let's confirm it gsol minima which is a vertex 2 comma 4 
and then let's confirm these two points. These two points are at a height of 8 or let's confirm the y-intercept. y-intercept is 0, 0,8 and when x is 4, y should be 8. So you can again go to gsol and uh, y-calc when x is 4. When x is 4, y is 8. So this is how we can confirm. So this graph is right. So let's move on to one more graph y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 16. Now this is a bit tricky. So yeah, let's do the process. First half the half the square root, sorry, the coefficient of x, which is 5, which is negative 2.5. And then you have to square it. And I know the square of my, minus 2.5 or plus 2.5 is 6.25. But you can use your calculator. So if you are not sure, you can use your calculator. So let me drag it in. So you can always, when it's negative, you should always put it in the bracket. Where is the bracket? So you can minus, oops, it's not like this. So let me get my sum. So if you're using any calculator, I like to use this calculator, minus 2.5 squared is 6.25 okay so the process is I'm going to write this as y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 6.25 now I have to get back to the 16 so plus what gives me 16 so I use my calculator that is 16 take away 6 0.25 which is 9.75 so I should write here 9.75 so this is a perfect square and these two will make 16 so I can say y is equal to to write the perfect square you write x from here and half you put a minus from here and 2.5 like this x minus 2.5 the whole square now just to confirm if you expand this out you should get this I hope you can see x times x will give you x squared and then you got minus 2.5 x minus 2.5 x will give you uh, minus 5 x and then you'll get minus 2.5 squared will give you 6.25 plus 9.75 so it's always good to write the vertex form to compare. So the vertex form is like this. A times x minus xv. The whole squared plus yv. So the vertex, we forgot to write the y-intercept. I hope you can see the y-intercept is going to be how much. Think about it. So the vertex is going to be 2.5 comma 9.75 and the y-intercept to find the y-intercept you have to just ignore the x's this is going to be 0 this is going to be 0 for y-intercept for x there x has to be 0 so the y-intercept is going to be 0 comma 16 so let's sketch this okay so let's graph this so this is the y-axis, this is the y-axis, so let me make it a bit thicker. So this is the y-axis, this is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. Again, this is not drawn to scale, so this is the graph going like this. So this point, this point, the vertex, or the minimum is 2.5 comma 9.75 and this point is the vertex sorry the y-intercept which is 0 comma 16 so again using symmetry so this is a line of symmetry so this point this y-intercept is how far away from the vertex well this is 2.5 and this is 0 so this distance is 2.5. So if you go 2.5 from here, 
you're going to hit which point this is going to be phi from 2.5 you go 2.5 you're going to go phi phi comma 16 so this is enough to draw the graph so let's confirm this go to graph and type in this equation which is x squared oops f1 x squared minus 5x plus 16. You need to be careful when you draw it so you can see this. Okay, you can scroll down like this and then you go GSOL minimum 2.5, 9.75. Y intercept is going to be 0, 16. And when x is 5, y should be 16. So GSOL Y calc when x is 5 y16 so this is enough to draw the graph hopefully these videos are helpful